All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome to uh, week two of the Nevada Public Library's uh, Teen Summer Reading Program. Um, today is activity is about anime and manga. Uh, I am Kevin. I'm Courtney. And we are going to be going over uh, tips on how to draw uh, manga characters and such. Um, if you uh, notice, we've got uh, some books that you can check out uh, at the library here, some uh, manga books. We've got uh, Boruto over there and One Punch Man uh, right here. And in the middle, uh, we've got um, some uh, drawing manga uh, tips books. And every, basically everything you hear from us today comes from books that are available to check out here at the library, um, including uh, the Master Guide to Drawing Anime Tips and Tricks. Um, so if you uh, have your uh, booklet that you picked up from the library, great. Uh, if not, you can simply use uh, paper and uh, pencil. And we're just gonna go through uh, some tips that we learned using these books. and. I don't think either of us would say that drawing is our forte, um, but I really feel like following the tips uh, in these books, we are able to uh, get some get some pictures down that look uh, pretty good. So if you are a drawer, um, I definitely highly recommend checking out these books because uh, if they can get us uh, drawing some somewhat good stuff, uh, they can definitely get you drawing uh, some great stuff. So. I'll go ahead and start, and um, we'll start with uh, a uh, just a typical anime human face. Uh, and all of the uh, all of the tips come uh, from this first one that I showed you, the Master Guide to Drawing Anime Tips and Tricks. And uh, so I'll kind of turn on my side camera here and give you a, a look at some of the pages of how it is. Uh, set up. So uh, you can kind of see uh, how it's going. Um, we kind of got a little bit of a laugh here because it gives you some very basic uh, instructions with the stages here uh, and goes step by step. And then all of a sudden at the end, it's like full color done. And so, uh, you know, that last stage obviously takes a little bit more effort. Um, but uh, that's uh, what it is. And uh, you can see my drawing here of uh, my guy, who isn't amazing, but as I said, um, my uh, drawing isn't my forte, um, so uh, I don't think it looks half bad. Um, but what you want to do whenever you're, uh, whenever you're drawing human faces is uh, you start with a boxed oval. Um, and so... Uh, see here on the screen that is uh, step one is simply start with the box oval and then you drop the chin uh, and that uh, that gives uh, it a more human look. If you are going to make it female you leave it that way but if you want to make it uh, male you then give the uh, give the chin a more dramatic slant uh, there. Uh, when you draw the eyes, uh, make sure you draw them far apart on the head. Uh, it's one of those things that you don't really notice until you do notice it, is that the eyes on anime and manga characters are way over here near the side of their head. That's just one of the uh, styles uh, of the drawing. Um, and then once you've got that chin and the eyes set, that should form an equilateral triangle going basically from ear to ear and then down to chin. And that proportion, that's pretty much um, where I messed up on this guy is I didn't get that proportion right. His uh, eyes are too far up uh, away from the chin. I need to pull the chin up and probably pull the eyes down. Um, I think that's probably the, the biggest thing that I missed there. Um, and then the mouth, uh, keep that to uh, fill the space uh, in between the eyes. So the mouth should be the length from one end of the eye to the other. So again, that's something that uh, isn't going to look exactly like real people, but that's the style uh, of the drawing. 
And so uh, then there's uh, other features of here of tips and tricks uh, in these books that are uh, really great for adding in uh, of how to draw the hair, the ears and such. Um, but really those simple uh, tips on the face um, will definitely uh, get you started on how to draw some anime characters. Uh, Courtney, you wanna go over uh, some of the things you uh, learned? Yes, so I wanted to do an animal and I got this mouse looking thing and it's not, I'm not a drawler and this is, I think it looks pretty That good. looks great. You are so much better. <laughs> and so to make it look like a mean mouse like they want in the book, you want to have the almond shaped eyes and it makes it look angrier and not like a cute little mouse. And on the drawing, you can see that it has its ears and its head are not the same. Uh, the same as its body. So like you want it bigger, kind of for that cartoonish look. I don't know if you can see that. And then this mouse, it has two tails since it's like a villain. I think it's for its superpower or whatever. And then it has its fist on its hip so it can be mean. And it has characteristics that aren't really a normal for a mouse. So this one has two tails and it's long nails on the bottom. And you want its eyebrows to be positioned kind of like a check mark so it looks meaner than it actually is. Okay, right, cool. Uh, why don't you hold up the, the book that you use uh, for that one so they can see, um, yeah, the title there, um, which is Big Book of Everything Manga. Yep, so that one uh, is also available here at the library uh, to check out. Uh, and then the last one uh, we'll go over here um, is how to draw manga chibis and cute critters. Um, and this one, um, is a little different um, with the chibi characters. Uh, I don't know if you've ever watched any anime, but they're usually, uh, chibi characters are kind of, um, I don't know, rare isn't the word, but just uncommon. They're not really uh, typically the main style of drawing, but they're kind of a side style. Uh, smaller characters, um, whether they be animal or human. Um, but, uh, some tips on uh, drawing them, and uh, let me hold up my uh, my dog here, uh, my basic uh, thing that I went with. You can see the outline there, and that's one of the things uh, that it recommends is start with the basic shapes uh, to get started. Don't uh, you know? Do sort of kind of an outline of uh, what the character or animal is going to be. Uh, don't go full on detail right away. Just get the outline started and then go back and fill in uh, the details little by little. Um, one of the things on chibi animals is that the head is the size, if not bigger, as the body, um, which is obviously not something uh, that is, uh, you know, that's like in real life. Um, and you know, Courtney talked about it in hers also, the, uh, the proportions of the body parts really goes a long way in the style uh, of where you're positioning them. Um, and that's kind of one of the defining features of uh, anime and manga is the proportions. Um, and uh, along the lines of uh, doing the basic shape is uh, keep the lines for chibi characters simple. Um, just slightly bent uh, curves. You don't need to go uh, into a lot of detail. Um, keep them, keep it simple. Uh, legs are short and stout and I kind of uh, ran out of room here on my legs and I really felt like everything on this guy turned out pretty good except this back pair of legs. I couldn't get the, couldn't get the proportion set so it kind of looks a little bit off. Uh, but that's one of those things that with practice, 
uh, will come. Drawing is just like anything. The more uh, you practice, the better you get at it. Um, but the legs are uh, short and stout. Uh, chibi characters don't have uh, long legs. And the paws, you keep them small. They're basically just the width of, uh, of the legs. And uh, as uh, I said on those proportions is the style. Whenever uh, we drew just one, uh, one viewpoint of our characters, um, a couple of straight on and then a side view of the dog, uh, but as you draw characters from different angles, you need to keep those proportions in uh, proportions the same. Um, so the head is always going to be the same proportion to the body, no matter what angle you're looking uh, at the character from. You don't want it to be, uh, you know, the head and the body the same size from a side angle, but then whenever you turn it from an overhead angle, all of a sudden, you know, the uh, head is smaller or um, something. Uh, so that is one of the key things to keep in mind. Um, so we want to encourage you to uh, come into the library, uh, check these out. If you're interested in drawing, they're available to take home, uh, just like any standard book is. There are tons and tons of tips and things you can draw. We have shown you just three quick pages um, out of the hundreds and hundreds of pages uh, available. Um, everything from uh, facial expressions to full-on uh, body positions. Um, there is just so much information in here that there's no way uh, we could go over everything. So um, I encourage you to come in and check out the books uh, here from the library. Also, um, we've got uh, uh, manga series available to check out and read. Um, these are just two. We also have uh, other series that are available. Um, and if you would like to uh, share your drawings, uh, you can do that by simply taking a picture of your drawing with your phone uh, and emailing it to info at mplmo.org. That's info at NPL, Nevada Public Library, MO, the abbreviation for Missouri, dot org. Uh, so thank you uh, for watching. We hope you enjoyed uh, our presentation uh, and we hope to see you at our later uh, events. Thanks. <laughs>